Hello, welcome back today um, to another one of my videos. Um, I'm Crazy Boy. Uh, today is a video request. Um, someone requested on how to make a lucky conjure ball. Um, I'm just going to list the ingredients. Um, uh, so some of the ingredients in here are optional. You don't have to put them in there, but I just highly recommend that you do. Um, so the, of course, the first ingredient is the wax. Of course, we'll be using a green wax for prosperity and for luck. Um, the other ingredient that is optional, that's not really needed, but I recommend it, would be uh, dirt from four banks. So just go to four different banks and of course get yourself um, a little bit of earth from each location and mix it together and you'll have a really good prosperity dirt, okay? Um, the other ingredient is this right here. Hopefully it'll show up in the camera right here. And that's actually, um, uh, in Brujeria we call this the seven metals. Um, but the name for it is Fool's Gold. So you can get a hold of uh, um, a piece of this Fool's Gold and just break it up in a Ziploc bag. Um, uh, you can, uh, it's, a, it's a really good metal. Um, this is what's actually going to be the last thing that's going to be layered on the conjure ball. So, um, uh, so if you can find some, get a hold of some because it's, it's a really good and very good lucky metal. Okay? Um, of course, the ingredients that will go into the conjure ball. Um, the first ingredient is yellow dock. Yellow dock is used in hoodoo. Um, it's actually used in floor washes. Um, it's a very lucky root. Um, but that'll be another video about floor washes. Um, the next ingredient are um, grains of paradise. Um, in a past video I called it seeds of paradise. I apologize. It's actually called the grains of paradise. And um, last but not least is ginseng root. Um, ginseng root um, for me, uh, from what I've been taught um, by a lady who knew a little bit about um, Chinese uh, spellcraft, she said ginseng root was very healthy for you to drink and stuff like that. But also, it's a very lucky root. So um, I've actually, um, taking that knowledge, I actually put this in my lucky conjure balls. And they've worked very well for my customers. So uh, well, I'll start making it right now. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the graveyard dirt. You don't have to, I mean, not the graveyard dirt, the um, four uh, dirt from, four dirts from four different banks. Um, you don't have to layer this on, just add a pinch of this stuff. A little bit really goes a long way with the dirt. So, just mix that up now. Okay, the other ingredient is some yellow dock. Grains of paradise. Some ginseng root. So when in making this um, lucky conjure ball, what you should be visualizing is um, uh, you should be um, seeing in your mind um, like, uh, you know, either if you're going to go play with games of chance, you winning, um, uh, you, um, and let's say also too, let's say you're doing this for money, maybe money is a little bit tight. Um, what, what is recommended is to um, just imagine money flowing to you not an exact number but just money flowing to you about or having a feeling of not worrying about money have that in your mind don't always try to will it you know don't will okay i need this exact money don't do that because if you do that um you're kind of messing with the past so just imagine that money is flowing to you instead of oh money money mine 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 don't try to do that um and also to um if you're doing this to get removed jinxes or you know bad days, um, you know just again imagine that um, that you're having a good day or you know you find you know a penny on the floor, you know just the simple things, the simple things of luck. Okay, so all right, let's get this started.
Alright, so the first ingredient is the yellow dock. Some of them may fall out, but that's okay, just as long as you get a good amount in there. And the ginseng root. Okay, now the last ingredient that's going to be put in this conjure ball is the seven bells. So there you go. There is your lucky conjure ball. All right. All right. So thank you for watching. Um, also, too, um, again, you can bury them in the ground. Um, of course, bury them where um, you will pass by, um, like uh, near your um, car garage or even in your, um, like maybe near your sidewalk, near your front door. If you are going to display it, places you may want to display it, maybe um, if let's say you do business out of your house, um, I would recommend to um, place this conjure ball in near the front door so prosperity comes into the house. Um, I also recommend that you also put it on your altar. If you have a, um, like a Buddhist altar or a prosperity altar, a lucky conjure ball, really will probably help you out really well. All right, thank you all for watching and blessed be.